What's up guys, in today's video, we're going to be reacting to the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tape that was just released over on Spectre's YouTube channel. It's called Police Archive, and it's apparently a tape of the Northview Mall incident that was recorded by a police officer. So they're inside a mall, and things go horribly wrong. It's going to have FNAF animatronics inside of it, and uh, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Now we're going to be reacting to this video, it's going to be decently long, so be sure to grab your snacks and sit back and relax. And uh, if you like what you see in this video, be sure to subscribe right now for more FNAF content, because it's your place to be for all types of FNAF content. Anyways, let's go ahead and give this a watch. All right, here we go. Seems like they're putting in a VHS tape. Duh. <laughs> All right, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards of the FBI. And this is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you two. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation. And this is the Police Sergeant David Miller. Please, take a seat. All right, so uh, go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know and everything you guys are suspicious of. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder, is that correct? Yes, sir, as well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. Oh. This first case involves a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing ever since. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a loud gunshot, some recognized it as a shotgun blast, gunshot. that came from the parking lot during the night. When we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found shattered glass from a broken window pane that landed on the outside of the building. We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. So we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, Nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved, so we eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place, saw Mr. Roberts approaching the building, and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their mm. LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. Again, they said no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time that it could have happened, so they inferred that maybe that the oh, building power had that. Been shut off. Isn't so yeah, right there? The time to prove they were responsible for his disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. So we kept a closer eye on him this time. Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on October 29th, 1986. Again, no evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, they agreed, but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as oh, soon as they gay. went to look for it. So yeah. you all start to sense a pattern here. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families, costing the company millions in reparations and bringing them closer to bankruptcy. I see. What about this guy you caught last night? How does he fit into all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. So he confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson, as well as the additional three cases we just talked about, claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. Which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, 
He said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this. He said nothing. And he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now even after letting the cat out of the bag. Also, his responses don't seem very genuine. Don't seem genuine? Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It was too easy to catch him. I'll say. Son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try to fight, resist, escape, nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. Thought he could pull a fast one on us last night and we got him. All I'm saying is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. Oh, could be parts is. of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Well, unfortunately the court doesn't care about could-be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? There is one thing, and it's another major reason we brought you guys in. Body cam footage, right? One of our right? officers managed to record the whole ordeal that yep. happened last night. However, there are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. At least not yet. All right, Dad. Show us what you got. Oh, here we go. So was that first guy that got attacked there, was that the guy from FNAF Plus, right? He had like the, the same instruments and everything. I mean, I guess they're just like ghost hunting tools, but... Is that camera okay, rolling? Let's see. Yep, says recording. All right, good. This is cool. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Which way are they heading? Moving to the mall. Should be the same direction we're going. Just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. There's oh shit! Someone. Is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. What are they transporting? Why the hell are they driving so slow? Hmm, I don't know. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it now before they try something. Three Echo 10 to dispatch, over. Three Echo 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot in that bolo for a 1982 white GMC box truck currently heading northbound on 99. Roger, ready for the flight details. That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. And it's a Wisconsin plate, over. Three Echo 10, that's a positive ID. Vehicle was reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. 10 for dispatch, thanks for the assist. Ooh, this could be dangerous. All right, let's pull them over. So it could be stolen, could not be, but I think we know the answer. They need to be real careful pulling up to this guy. Real careful. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to the driver's side, tell him what's going on, see if we can get the squared away. Sit tight, be ready to back me up, all right? Yes, sir. All right. What? They should both go up to the car together, like one on each side. I feel like just him going up is dangerous. What are they transporting in this thing? Probably some animatronics, right? How'd they do this, though? This is really impressive. How are you guys doing this evening? We can hear. Alright, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? Doesn't even say why Just he pulled them Just want to make sure you don't take off and run on me now. Yeah, he's gonna get real far in a giant box truck. Thank you very much. Alright, do you know why I stopped you just now? Sucks you well, can't there's a thing. bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular model of vehicle. Now, I ran your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Come on. Uh -huh. This is definitely them. Don't fall for this. Yeah. Well, I mean, this looks to be y'all's vehicle, so, uh, I'm... Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna assume anything, right? He, you know how companies like to make shit up all the time. So the registration off, or you know? something. Get something from them to prove that it's theirs. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this figured out. You have license registration on you? There we go. Perfect. I assume this is a commercial vehicle. Okay, let's see. You got your license for that. Alright, let me go ahead and rerun the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away. Alright? 
Right, yeah, yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was stressful. I'm not even there and it was stressful just knowing he was that close to the You might have to listen for me. I'm going to take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, sure thing. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Ready for the details? She's gonna license say, number is going to be 126 266 79. Watch That's out. That's 126 266 79. First name Oscar, last name Master. M A S T E R. He's a 34 year old white male with short Oscar brownish black hair. Master. Over. One, two, six, two, six, six, seven, nine. Get out of there. I got no one listed under that name. Oh, Is it no. expired? Negative dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. Hey, Daryl! Yeah, need to be what's careful. up? This is a fake ID. Shit, really? Just read the details to dispatch twice and they came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No, look. It says it expires in 92. Damn. Okay, then. Right, I'm going to get the driver out in a cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Okay, will do. It's weird, though. They're way too, like, confident. The people in the car, like, they know it's fake, so why aren't they... This is where things are going to go bad right now. Very hey, bad. Man, I'm going to need you to step out of the vehicle for... Hey, uh, what the hell is your friend? Oh, I knew it. There it goes. Oh, my... Daryl? He's got a shotgun. Three Echo 10, 10. Officer, officer down, down. shots fired! Oh, Don't show me your hands, hands. Now. now! Start blasting! Drop Drop your hands step out of the truck. truck! They've got withered animatronics in the back. You, you deaf motherfucker! Oh! Oh, <laughs> what? That was sick! Uh, he can control the animatronics like that? Like, what? what? Now? Just stick to the plan, come on! Wait, but Foxy just... Oh my. They need to get out of there. Oh, it's chasing them now. It's either working with them or it's currently hunting them through a forest. Oh, he's still alive. How did he survive that? It only jumped on him, I guess. It didn't, like, eat him. So you have to send a dispatch. Don't tell me they're not picking up. This path, can you read me? Can anyone hear me right now? What happened? Oh, f***ing great. <sighs> oh, his radio's broken. Just get your partner's radio. Daryl! Daryl, hey, Yeah, that guy's... Buddy? He's toast. Took a shotgun to the chest, it looked like. I'll make him f***ing pay for this! Three Echo 10. I've got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Over. Come on. Does anyone up. read me? Ah, the radio's busted too. Man, they got both the radios. What are the chances? Don't they usually have one in the car, though? Alright, this one's gotta work, right? God, Daryl. The one time we need a spare. Oh, uh, my <laughs> All right, what think, think. Like? Um, hey, I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all of this. Wait a minute. Where'd the hell they go? Why didn't they just take off in the truck? They left all of oh, the truck. They're up something. They have to be. Is this thing still rolling? Oh, shit, it is. Okay. The only one that ran out of the truck was Foxy. All the other Let's see if I can find out there. where they went. 
You can see Chica, Bonnie. Right. It looks like they went off the right in this direction. So let's see if I can catch up to them. I don't care what that thing is. No one's getting away from me that easily. Not after what they did tonight. What are you gonna do? Shoot a metal animatronic? <laughs> Bullets are not gonna stop Foxy. I don't know how to tell this guy the truth, but like... He is... He's definitely gonna die at the end of this. He, there's no way. What is this place? Where's he at? Looks abandoned. Or at least pretty run down. Oh, that's the mall. It's gotta be a mall or something. It's the pizza place! What the hell are they doing <laughs> in a place like this? This must be where they broke in. Or at least where someone broke in. The animatronic didn't go through there because it wouldn't be able to crouch. At least I don't think it would. I think it would just run right through that door. So Foxy Jesus, came in somewhere else. This place else. definitely looks bigger on the inside. Oh I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go? The audio that they have in this. This is very well made. Needs to be careful. These are the old businesses they closed down. See me personally? Architecture looks super retro though. I this place went... had to be built in like the late sixties to early seventies at least. I'm going back to the police station, getting back up and then going in there, but this guy. He's sitting here talking to himself. He's doing a vlog right now. <laughs> I wonder if there's still... Uh, no way! He's literally vlogging like the killers aren't in the... there's still power in this place? Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. He's talking so loud. And there's two armed robbers and an animatronic. I think animatronic. a map right there. Killer in here let's see if I can find the office buildings. Okay, let's see. Office, 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 office. Uh, ah, here. Okay. Second floor on the east side. All right. Let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. This guy's dead. <laughs> this guy is so dead. They're listening right now. And they're like, who's this guy talking to? <laughs> What's he saying? How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? We acquit your and hand me the pliers. Ah, I see. They're scrappers. Start blasting. They are definitely not. I wonder not what they need all that for, though. They're not scrappers, dude. They have an animatronic army. Hello? Okay, I got it. Open the bag. I heard that. Who's there? Why is he hiding? He has a weapon. They don't. My guy, careful. It's just him. Come on, let's go. Now, hurry up. This guy, they have like stormtrooper aim right now. I'm letting him get away. What? They grabbed all their stuff. You guys think this is a f game? Come out with your hands up. Now! Oh, he's right there. Oh, that's not them. What the hell? How are they controlling Foxy? What is happening? Holy s Oh my gosh! Holy! I told you the bullets aren't gonna work! Oh, those sounds are horrifying. He's lucky he can run fast. I don't know how he's outrunning Foxy right now. Oh my. 
Close the door, close the door! He didn't even lock it. Keep running. Don't stop, don't stop, run! Oh my This is the worst room to run into. He's so dead. Yeah, he's, he's toast. He's toast. He's dead. Definitely sees him. There's no way. How did he survive that? God, I hate that thing. I gotta get back up here now. Talking so loudly. Where's he at? Looks like he's in like the back rooms or something. Oh, come on. There's there we phone. go. It's locked. Shoot it. Uh, Just shoot no. the glass. Uh. Yes. Yeah. It's not gonna work. We already know this. Yes, is... still works. Oh All my! Right. Let's send in the cavalry. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, pick up. Oh my, he just said exactly what I said. <laughs> yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. That was smooth. This sound like a break call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. I I heard something. Oh. Ah, shit. Just give me some backup. Damn. All right, here's the plan. You shoot him from the darkness. Boom, dead. You point the camera up. I can't see what's happening. This guy's got to point it at the ground. Chris! What? He's still alive! What? He got to one of the phones! Oh, ah, yeah. fucking shit! Alright, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. See, he is controlling it. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's gotta come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. That was really close. This guy's like throwing this camera around. Goodness. Like, he's just holding it. It's like making so much noise. Just get him right there. Oh, no. Hide! It can definitely see in the dark! Hide! Oh, no. Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's dead. He has survived way too long. There he is! Oh, oh. shit! Oh! Oh, no! Ah! Oh. you like that, you coward! Let's see you run! Oh no. I'd rather 
to get shot than eaten by Foxy, man. Oh my gosh. Jump off! Jump off! Do something! Oh, he is so dead. Why is it limping like that? Oh, smart. That was smart. Okay. With the taser. That was really smart. The only thing is, I don't think he has any ammo left. Didn't think that would actually work. Oh. They actually sent backup. Is he going to live? I already know the animatronic is going to be gone when he when they get up there. But they at least have footage of it now. Come on, you're so close to freedom. We know he's not going to make it though. Come on, buddy, you can make this. Right there. Freeze! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Don't shoot! I'm with you guys. Identify yourself. Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy sh! Stand down! He's with us! Woo! We made it! I thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios are busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl then? Wasted, Sarge. Got shot up pretty bad. I think he's dead. Alright, where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me! You're hurt? I got my head bashed pretty hard and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Can you fight? I'll try. Alright, good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. What do they look like? Hard to tell. Both of them were in ski masks and all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. Alright. Bravo! Charlie! Sweep this building! Let's smoke these guys out! The rest of you are on me! Let's move! Alright, let's go! What I'm talking about. Now we got a whole team with us. What could possibly go wrong? They got the big guns, too. There he is! Hands up! All you do is got on. Let me see your hands! Drop the gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Drop the gun and show us your hands! Oh my, shoot him! Holy... Alpha 1, Al Copy. We're pinned down! The assistant's on the second floor! That guy is out in the open shooting at them. How are they not getting him? Uh oh. He's dead! Throw neutralized! Oh All God. units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! How is he? Oh, this has to be a trap, dude. What are they doing? They're running right into his trap, if it is one. Hey! Open the door! Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't! The door's stuck! I can't open it! Where's- wait, where's Foxy? It's at night! Face the wall! On your f***ing knees! I actually got him? What's your name? Identify yourself! Henry! Oh, it's Henry! Henry. Oh, okay. 
Henry and Chris, huh? Interesting. Well then, that was the Police Archive, the FNAF VHS tape by Spectre. That was really cool. That was really well made. I don't know how they make these kind of things. Like, there's some parts of it that looked a little strange, you know, obviously, but for the most part, it was very well made and uh, pretty awesome. I had a good time with that. If you guys did too, be sure to leave a like on the video, show this video a ton of support. We'll definitely react to some other VHS tapes if I can find them. And be sure to check out Spectre's original video. I'll have it in a in the description down below. Go check it out for yourself. Leave it a like, leave it a comment, stuff like that. Tell them I sent you. Why not? I don't know. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, though. That was cool. That was really well made, and that was a great story. I was very involved in that. Like, I felt, you know, I was very intrigued by the whole thing. It kept me entertained the entire way. That was awesome. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.